exhibition number two on the season. Thank you. 
Sweet Thunder, round number four, race number three. And uh, this will be quite a bit different than the normal VIP Thunder. It's usually two hours of nonstop racing action from seven to nine. It will still be two hours of nonstop racing action, but it will be from six to eight on Thursday night. So make sure you get here an hour early, a special start time of 6 p.m. for Thursday Thunder. We're starting it early so you can enjoy your traditional holiday festivities if you and your family traditionally watch fireworks in Wilton Beach or Raymond or you go out to the Eastern Prom in Portland and uh, watch the fireworks there you still be able to enjoy things with your family but be here for our special show too as different surprises for you on Thursday night. Daniel Evans retains the lead. Number 88 is in second spot just like before the caution flag loop. There's Ali Furlan. In fact, the top four have remained in that formation for about, let's see, it's called that number five. Ty Ursell followed by the number 77. That is Maggie Furlan. This is the second race of the night. We had the road runners earlier this evening. And for those who have been away for the past couple of weeks, just to reiterate, the road runners are part of the pre-show now until so they have enough vehicles to run during the NASCAR night program. And there have been talks of some uh, road runners who have not competed in some time getting back on the racetrack, so we hope to make them a part of the uh, run of the show here very soon. The 13 laps of this one, Danielle Evans continues to be scrambled there with the 77 looking down low Maggie Furlan high herself strong on the outside having a much better second half than the first half struggled to uh, find her footing and a lot of the a lot of the whiskey it seems like wherever you start it's, uh, it's certainly indicative of how you're going to finish if you have a half decent race car and uh, some drivers you can see just getting some great side-by-side -side racing experience and that's what this division's all about it's not about competing for wins they don't have a, a separate point system or anything they're just here to, to run side by side which is why we have the competition yellow as well that we can run around the track single file where they don't really ever come close to each other that's one thing but it's certainly more beneficial to have them run side by side and some of the whiz kids have certainly moved up into the main divisions on nascar night we've got champions in brad babb and corey Rubar, brandon angles a number of uh, Charlie Sanborn's number one as well. Laps winding down, just one to go this time for the number 57. 24 Pro Series cars ready to qualify. Only 100 laps, 100 green flag laps tonight. Wildcats ready to go for their 50 laps. But here's the rub with the Wildcats. It's not a flat race. It was for a number of years, and then and what had happened is when everyone is awarded the same amount of points, it turns into sort of the all-star race. And they, there was a lot, it, was the, it turned into the revenge race, basically, and it turned into the roughest race that we've had. Uh, and it really damaged a lot of the Wildcats who did not come back and run for the rest of the season who were in the championship run for so. So now, it is a points race, so there's the added element of, well, yeah, it's the biggest race of the year that I want to win, but you know what? I want to win the championship too. I have to worry about points, so it's not. It's a, it's a points race now for the for the Wildcats. Not necessarily so for the Pro Series. There's a difference between those two divisions in that setup. How about a round of applause for all of the Whiz Kids? Nice clean race, making their way back into turn number two, and we'll be back in about five minutes with qualifying.
We'll ask our Wheel and All-American Series here at Beach Ridge Motor Speedway.